Our story so far. A letter requesting help brings Professor Layton and his assistant, Luke, to the remote Saint Mysteria. After solving a puzzle, the pair are able to cross the drawbridge that leads into the village. Now Luke and Layton must go to Reinhold Manor, residence of Lady Dahlia, the author of the letter. And hello! My name is Triple S, also knows this like man. Back again with Professor Layton, the curious village. The saves do work, and every time you load back up, it gives you a little what's happened so far. So that's quite cool. We're here, we found a bunch of hint coins in the last uh, episode. We talked to this guy at the front here called Percy. But now for puzzle number five. Like a man bun number five, but uh, a puzzle. So you see this clock tower here, let's click on the clock. That clock tower looks rather worse for wear. Speaking of clocks, I've got just the puzzle for you. Now this, I do have the 50 by 50 picker hats. Yep. An ordinary analog clock has two hands, with the longer hand moving faster around the face of the clock. Assuming that this clock keeps perfect time, how many times will the long and short hands pass over each other between 12 noon and 12 midnight? And since, oh, you can scribble notes in any open space on the touchscreen. When you have your answer, tap input answer. Next, you will go to the answer input screen, write one digit at a time, make sure the digits have been recognised correctly, and then tap submit. And since this is the UK version of the game, we're going with analog uh, clocks. The US version has a different puzzle with digital clocks, I think. So, how many times will two hands, the big hand and the little hand, pass between 12 midday and 12, 12 noon and 12 midnight, midday, what am I about? Now, you may think 12 times, but it's between 12 noon and 12 midnight. The 12 noon and 12 midnight are not included. So, pass once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times? No, I don't think it would. See, I can see the hints over here instead of us having to pick it. See, it says here, the hands pass over each other once an hour. So in twelve hours, they will pass twelve times. Or will they? The hands start off on top of each other at twelve noon, so that doesn't count as a pass. Won't pass every hour, but the hands don't pass over each other on the hour. They will pass at around 5 minutes past 1 or 33 minutes past 6. So what time will it be the last time they pass? Well, it'd be pass against the uh, 5 past 1, 10 past 2, like 16 minutes past 3, 26 minutes, 26, 27 minutes past the 4, nearly half past for the 5, 27 minutes past, no, 33, 33 minutes past the 6, and then same for the 7, the 8, 9, and 10. Essentially, I know what the answer is. Let's do 1 and 0. Submit. How does this sound? Yeah. I did it. Whoa, 105 pig rats. That's right, the hands pass over each other ten times. If you think about it, the answer is obvious, but you might have been tricked by the question. The hands pass over each other once an hour, but since they stand indirectly on top of each other, two of twelve hours do not count as a pass. Why not try it on a rail clock? So as you can see up here, this is what I was looking at. See the 5 past 1 and the 10 past 2 and such. All the way up to something past 11. So the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It, you would think 11 times. But no. I think the, ele uh, the, the 1 doesn't count or something. I don't know. I was thinking 11 at first. But then it's 12 to 12. So it will be one, two, three, four, but then it, 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 it's kind of weird. 
how to think of it. Strangely. But let's carry on. Precisely the answer I was looking for. Well done, my boy. I'll just uh, move on to the next puzzle on my walk through. Yep, yeah, clock hands added. Now we've done that. Need to cut the shoe. Let's go to the right. Professor, look at that man standing in the street. He's blocking the path up to Reinhold Manor. How terribly rude. Perhaps he'll move for us, but I have a feeling he has no intention of doing anything of the sort. Now let's just find some pick uh, pick rats, uh, hint coins around here. The on the left, the window, the pouch, the far back of the house, the window next to the door, that one, and then the little uh, thingy. Uh, some of the window on the right of the brown, yeah, the window to the right of the brown door, the sack hangs to the rightmost window, and the sidewalk sign is right there to the left of the blue door. And now let's talk to this guy who's blocking our path. God, I don't know what voice to do for him. Hold up! Oh, I've never seen you two here before. What? What's a couple of our new faces like yourselves doing here? It's a weird cockney accent or something, I don't know. We're here by invitation of the Reinholds. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have business through the gate. Business with the Reinholds? Is it so? Something strange here. Yeah, you're a fishy pair. Um, I don't trust you. That's for sure. But I'll let you pass if we can solve this riddle, say. Just to warn you, it's a tough one. It isn't going to be easy, is it? No way. Definitely not going to be easy. Hmm. What puzzle has he got for us? 40 out of 40. Here we have eight small weights that all look the same. However, one of the weights in the group is slightly lighter than the rest. Use this scale two times. You can find out which of these weights is lighter than the rest. So which weight is the light one? Load the weights you want to measure onto the scale we got stylus. When you've finished arranging the weights, press the red button to weigh them. If both sides stay level, it means the loads on both sides of the scale are of equal weights. Once you've found the right weight, place it on the area, answer area, and tap submit. Right. Huh. Let's see how we do with this. One. Uh, check that. I have no idea. Okay. Did I just screw up? I think I did. <laughs> Can I re what was restart? Oh no, that's good. There we go. Okay, so we did one and two. They're all just the same. One and three. One and four. Okay, one and five. Apparently, like the one. Okay, there's two, two and three. Whoa! Three is quite heavy compared to two. They're equal. Uh, stopping and starting. 